Okay, I'm here with one of my former students. He's currently studying at Caltech, um, Jimmy Kui. Jimmy, tell us a little bit about the internship uh, that you did in Japan and how and the role that programming and engineering played in the development of your prototype. Okay, so what I was I was working at um, NTT Docomo, Japan's largest cell phone company, and I was working in their electromagnetic compatibility lab. Mm -hmm. um, Basically, what my project was was a system, or so, in Japan, when um, a cell phone company makes a cell phone tower, they have to alert all the people who are living around the cell phone tower about their potential exposure to electromagnetic waves, electromagnetic right. radiation. Oh, yeah, very important. Yeah, um, and so while the risk is minimal, the government still requires them to describe the possible risks mm -hmm. and explain to them um, how much radiation they're going to be receiving from the cell phone tower. Right. Um, so their current technology that they had to demonstrate to the, um, these people what their um, radiation exposure would be, which is just this one meter that you um, you, stick in, you have it in the air and it tells you a single number uh, mm -hmm. that gives you the amount of radiation exposure. Okay. Um, now what role did um, MATLAB and other languages like Java and so forth, what role did that play in your prototype? Okay, so the prototype I made was this device that lets you visualize um, the amount of radiation you're receiving from every, um, like, from va various directions. Okay. So it allows you to pinpoint um, how much radiation you're receiving from each um, cell phone tower in the horizon. Okay. Um, and to do this, you need to do a lot of signal processing. Um, mm -hmm. So there's this technique called direction or arrival that you can use multiple antennas to detect um, where a particular wave is coming from. Okay. Um, and to do this, you need to do a lot of signal processing. And the primary language that people do for signal processing is called MATLAB. Okay. It's a great programming language. And um, How did Java here at school help you with something like MATLAB? So uh, MATLAB is based in Java. Um, MATLAB code always compiles down to Java code. Okay. So knowing about how Java works and knowing how to write Java uh, made using MATLAB a lot easier. Um, and the same programming skills that you, you learn when you learn how to use Java um, still are really uh, helpful. Uh, apply in MATLAB. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, best of luck to you, Jen. Yeah, thank you.